All right, welcome everyone. No, I can't do this while you're here. I just can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. What? I'm nervous. What? I can't talk about it while you're here. And for company name, I just stick with something simple like XP Worldwide. Um, okay, so starting funds are going to be two million dollars contract bonus only 20 percent opponent difficulty hard and we don't get a free first ship let's go ahead and start Wow, I really love these facts about shipping that they uh, put on the loading screen. It's pretty cool. Wow. All right. And since I am based in Japan, I kind of already know that I want to do a Japanese home port. But there's some really other cool home ports here. Uh... Oh, Israel, that would be pretty cool. They got 12 contracts there. 14 contracts out of the port of Tokyo. Uh, 15 contracts out of the port of Rotterdam. And when I mean contracts, I'm looking at the uh, the bulk carrier contracts, which is on the left, the 15. Uh, the 13 is container ships. The eight is uh, fuel and oil and stuff like that, which is eventually the business that I would like this company to get into. Uh, Port of Savannah, Port of New York. That's near where I grew up. Currently, I'm in Japan, so I kind of want to pick the Port of Nagoya. I'm a little bit closer to Tokyo, but the Port of Nagoya sounds sounds kind of cool. So, uh, let's uh, let's just go with that. I'll select that port. That's where we'll start. And after going through, this is the ship, in fact, that we're going to pick. I'm not able to get a larger ship. And I don't know if it's going to be a good idea to go with anything smaller in case we can't get two, two of those ships. So let's go ahead and pick a bottom hull color, which I want to be kind of red and the upper hall, which I want to be kind of blue. And the deck details, I actually actually like that a lot. This kind of like medium gray. Nah, I don't. Nah, see that's kind of inauthentic. This is a little more authentic. All right. Um, yeah, we can't get a big uh, ship bigger than this. I've messed around with the with the bank loans and this is this is the best we can get so um 50 percent is the highest we can go i don't want to go lower than that i want to stick high this is the beginning of the game and the number of installments we want to do is i'm tempted to do 84 but i kind of want to get it knocked out in 60 and I believe 60, yeah, so you need 60 bank reputation points to apply for a 70% loan. And I think we're going to need that 70% loan for our second ship. And if we can pay this ship off in 60 payments, that would be ideal. But let's see how much is that going to cost us. $307,000 compared to only $225,000. Um... But I don't think that's going to be an issue. So let's go ahead and pick 60. And we'll agree to that loan contract. Perfect. And the first ship I would like to name after my daughter, Anju. And we'll call it Anju's Adventure. I think that's really beautiful. Um, auto refuel, we're not going to do ship is in great condition I think it's a new ship I think they kind of we just buy a new ship with the uh, the initial loan uh, we can't do any upgrades 
at the start here. Maybe that's just because of the port we picked, but I really enjoy picking the port of Nogoya. And the next thing we'll do is immediately increase all of our monthly expenses, cleaning, food, entertainment, and the infirmary. And then uh, pretty soon here, we'll look into some of these other upgrades. Sorry if the music is a little loud. There we go. And then let's hire a crew. Let's see what we can get. Okay, we have Georgie. Is that how you pronounce it? And I, I'm not even gonna try. We'll just call him Dinu. Uh, this Georgie only has one year of work experience, and this guy here, Dinu, uh, has four years. So let's hire him. And he has the ability to become a two-star. He has one star right now, so I think that's good. And we'll hire him for 12 months. It only saves us 900 a month, and that's fine. And we're going to follow that strategy for each one of these. We want the ability to get them up to two-star, but we want the most work experience. And easy pick here. We only have one option. Chief Engineer. Only one option, but... A lot of work experience. I like that. I like seeing that. Electro technical officer. Ooh, ooh, we're gonna go with the higher experience. Egyptian. Interesting. Very nice. Does that picture look AI? Because this one down here, Mustafa, that looks like a real guy. And so does this. And so does this. But this one here looks AI generated. I bet they're all AI generated. Interesting. And Chief Steward, Kiara, Dutch. 23 years old with two years of experience. Hired. Awesome. Okay. That looks good. I kind of want to use this map overlay because that's just more fun. Uh, let's open up the fuel so we can see that. All right, great. And then I think we're good to go. So let's see what kind of contracts are available. Ooh, a nice contract to the port of Turkey for 48,000 tons but also a 27,000 ton all the way up to France. Is there anything along the way? We could hit that one too. And that would be more lucrative than this contract because we can't do two contracts with this, but no, so we can't do that. These are both going to the Port of Callow. Interesting. No, we can't do that because we can only hold 60,000 tons with this ship. So, no, that's a little too far out of the way. Belgium 33. Kuwait. What we can do is take it to Kuwait. And then we have, yeah, that's actually we can take both of these contracts right off the bat and that would be a really good start or we can just go straight to to Turkey and drop this off all right let's uh let's take a chance here right off the bat let's accept this contract and let's accept this contract over to France um and then the next thing I want to see is along the way, we can't stop there for gas, no way. But we can stop in Qatar to refuel. But really, we want to stop at. What's this port here? Can we zoom in? The port of Jebel. So. I'm gonna want to stay uh, save on as much fuel as possible so let's see if we can add that in and let's stop there after we reach this port and unload Ooh. Hmm. yeah 
actually, let's stop there first. And what I want to do is... It's going to take 28 days plus 230 days, so that's actually going to take us 61 days plus a day of loading. Yeah, 62 days. So we need to increase our speed here. And we also need to increase our speed here. Wait. Yes. 11 knots should be good. Not worried about that at all. Yeah, we'll leave that at 10. Uh, I don't want to go too fast because we're going to burn too much fuel. We can't go too slow because we need to get to France in time to complete this contract without any penalties. We need to refuel absolutely here at the best possible uh, price. Um, and we also want to conserve our eco rating, which starts at an A, and we don't want it to go below an A or a B. So let's go ahead and start this contract. And they're going to load all of this up at the port of Nagoya. And you can see our full route here, kind of in purple. Can we change that to blue maybe? Yeah, that's much easier to see. Great. Okay. Anju's Adventure, started contract, and let's go. Oh, and right off the bat, food poisoning. Awesome. That's wonderful. Okay, so I think that one's on our, our chief steward there. Come on, Kiara. After only a day, what are we doing? <laughs> Strike one. I think we'll be okay. I think we got a good crew. I'm going to put my faith in them. Maybe it was just a, a mishap. Um, but if it happens again, we're going to have to take a look at some other options. And hopefully it doesn't. And looks like we're doing good. Let's just keep an eye on the contract. Yeah, that's tough because... That's next delivery is going to be right on the money there. That's okay. What we can do is just adjust the speed there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let me pause real quick. And make sure I... Okay, I did hit stop at port. Because uh, we're doing the manual refuel, refuel. So once it stops, the game should pause... Um, once they stop at the port, the game should pause, and then we can buy the fuel for the best price over here, which is 371, and the lowest it goes is 360, as you can see here. Okay, we're good. Let's go. And yep, we go idle there little breakdown of our salaries and expenses and we are going to fill up I know that seems like a lot but that's a good price on fuel and if we keep doing this strategy of manual refuel and just picking the best spot along the route we should minimize going out of our way and losing time and save a ton of money because that's a 60% of our tank. We're filling up, we were below half, and we're only paying 165,000. So that could easily be double that. Let's fill all the way up, and then we'll have to click start contract again. We're doing great on this contract, and we are kind of right on the money with this contract because usually, I haven't run into too much trouble, but I have caught penalties in previous playthroughs where days to deliver will say 29 and days to expire will say 29 and you don't really know where is that half day in there if it's going to expire before it actually gets unloaded. So just not sure how the mechanics work like too precisely. Um, if if, if you make it there and they're still unloading when it expires, I 
it might still count, but I don't even want to risk it. I kind of want to keep it a day ahead of schedule, and uh, that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and start the contract, restart it, I guess, and get going. So a short stop here. We'll unload that, and we'll be on our way. So we got our first payment there, and that's good. That drop off should cover our salaries and expenses and our canal charge here, the Suez Canal. And we should make a good chunk once we reach the Port of France. The Port of. I'm gonna butcher this. The Port of Le Havre. Le Havre. <laughs> So super relaxing, cool music vibe. Uh, what we're really going to have to pay attention to with this game is just those manual refuels, you know, uh, crew salary costs, and just managing those contracts. If we can manage them well and earn these contract points down here, we should stay ahead of the curve and stay ahead of our rival companies. All right. Also, something we're going to have to pay attention to is the condition of our ship. This can get very pricey. Okay, awesome. Penalty. Oh. We got a penalty for that. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Ridiculous. Okay, that's okay. Let's keep moving. We earned half that contract. And oh, look at this. Right back to Tokyo. Ooh. But an even better one down here. Okay, let's do this one. And I'm going to pay much better attention to the expiration. And we don't need to do. 12 knots anymore we can just do 10 but we are gonna have to stop for fuel so let's see where we can do that 382 360 can we make it there is the question I don't want to risk that either here's 360 in the port of Bari so let's go there in Italy Yes, Port of Bari. Move up. So we should be fine there. We'll stop at that port. We'll refuel. Start contract. Got carried away on that last trip. Lost focus on our only our second shipment. <laughs> Wonderful. But. Our ship is in good condition after the first trip. We're still 100% engine, still 100% hull. Just got to pay attention to the actual, actual money maker here. Stop for a refuel. We'll be good to go. Oh, see, man, I just, that number just keeps dropping down. But usually at 10 knots, you should be good. So let's see what happens here. Great price. Let's see how much time we end up losing. Because 39, come on. We're still a day ahead. This should be good. I wish we could see the ship on this map and then I wouldn't have to close the screen as often to see where we are on the trip. Oh, we're, see, we're getting close. That's, how does that happen? Let's increase our speed. Oh, we're still a little bit behind there. Let's increase to 12. There we go. 
Okay. Twelve seems to be staying ahead of schedule. Okay, we'll stick with twelve. All right. Coming down by Singapore. And looks like we're good. Let's drop speed back down to 11. We should be okay now. Oh, look at the port of Nagoya having great prices there. We have to just jump over here to refuel instead of Tokyo. Okay, that looks great. Now we're doing good. That's where we like to be. Let's keep it at 10 knots now. Should be fine for the rest of the trip. Excellent. Okay, much better. Much better. Excellent. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Final sum. We made 1.5 million off of that. All right. Hall's in great condition. Uh, let's jump over here to Nagoya, our home port. And we will refuel there. We'll save four days to get down there at four knots. I don't waste that much time. Let's see, seven knots is in the green, two days. That's fine. Wow. Can you imagine doing a whole trip at seven knots if you had the time? That'd be very slow. We lost $30,000 making that trip. That's fine, because we're going to save that money on fuel. Bam. 70% of our fuel for only 182. Love to see it. Fantastic. All right, and let's keep it rolling. We're going to do another... Oh, got to love these contracts. No canal fees. And that's a $1.6 million job of cables. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Well, I think that'll be it for this episode. Uh, and we'll start off with that contract for the next episode. Thanks for joining in.